I just finished the full script to Animal, which would be the re script and the refilm to Animal. Um, and um, I'm actually going to do either a GoFundMe or a Kickstarter and see if I can help or see who's willing to help me get this off the ground. Also, what I'm going to do with like the Kickstarter and the GoFundMe, I'm going to use that not for the production because we have financial backing for the production. I'm just going to use that to fly people out to film. Like, I want to use all the money from the GoFundMe or Kickstarter to fly people out and give people an opportunity that normally wouldn't get an opportunity like this to be a part of this. Also, if I could fly people from different parts of the world, that type of energy, that type of global energy will be based inside of the movie. And then it'll give the movie a different form of energy. So like, you know, you got somebody in Germany or somebody in fucking Norway like, yo, I would love to be a part of the film. And you know, like, and that happens a lot to me, like, especially with music and my shows, right? Like, I get so many messages and so many DMs from people in other countries, like, yo, man, if I can fucking get to the States, bro, I'd fully support you. Like, like for me, like, when we check, when we check my my statistics y'all be shocked right one of my greatest like where where i have if you had to guess where do you think i have the most fans at it just just guess right where do you think i have the most people that support me if you had to pick a place where do you think i have the most fans at what 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 country Nope, it ain't Africa, it ain't Cali, or it ain't Europe. It ain't Compton, it ain't Africa, it ain't Cali, it ain't Los Angeles, it ain't New York, it ain't even America. It ain't it ain't Europe neither. Guess where I got the most fucking fans at? One of the wildest shits in the world. Australia. When we do our statistics, like we do our like our back end on like where the merch was bought from or where most of my views coming from and shit like that, fucking Australia. That's wild. I must gotta. I'm, the Aboriginal niggas must be watching hella daylight battles. Australia. This shit crazy, right? Shit that I never even thought of, and I never thought I would be getting this much love from Australia. Like, that's wild. Wow. So it's like. It's like Australia, then Norway. I'm like, who the fuck is listening to me in Norway? Like, you got Australia, then Norway, then Sweden. So it's Australia, Norway, Sweden, South Africa, Europe, then United States. That's crazy. But I think about, like, the, the things that I talk about, the things that I say... I don't really appeal to Los Angeles. I don't really appeal to Compton. I don't appeal to Watts. I don't appeal to the gang culture. I'm not appealing to the gang culture. So I don't really expect them to support the things that I do or be behind a lot of the stuff that I do because I kind of stand for something that goes against everything the gang culture stands for. So I don't really expect those places to be fully behind me. Um, but going back into the movie, right? So I know y'all seen the, the little smaller clips of the animal. So the movie, I'll give y'all like a little kind of 
gist of what the movie is about. The movie is about how people can't see how close it is to succeed. That's what the movie is about. It's about how a better life for somebody can be literally directly across the street, but people are so caught in their ways that they kind of are afraid to just cross the street. But it's going to be like a lot of more subliminals and a lot of more like entendres and shit like that inside the film. Right? Um... The film is based in prehistoric time and modern time at the same time. Yeah. It's prehistoric time, like, nigga, 500 million BC and 2019 at the same time. Like, it's happening simultaneously. So kind of visually get the concept of what's happening it's a reflective movie and it's gonna make people look at their lives it's gonna make a lot of people especially in lower urban communities look at the way they are maneuvering in civilization when in all actuality a better life for them is literally directly across the street movie will consist of multi-races it's not just a black movie it's gonna be like all races inside of the movie um gonna be a lot of things about like evolution uh for me one of my favorite scenes that i've written and i haven't filmed it yet i'm probably gonna go do some tests recently or i'm gonna do some tests within the next couple of weeks but one of my favorite parts of the script is the first contact and it's when like a native not even a native but like kind of like a the ape ape man comes in contact with uh, a, a, a Caucasian it's like first contact like the first time in like the homo sapien scene uh Neanderthal. And I think that that's the most critical scene for me. Because how I flipped it. The flip is. The. The fair. Not even fair. I don't even want to use that word. The lighter skin. Male. Approaches a tribe of kind of like homo sapien men and you know back in the days they would tell you like it was dangerous right like oh my god like these fucking tribal apes are gonna kill this man because he's not from the tribe but how i flipped it in the movie is the tribe was like nah like come in are you hurt are you okay anything we can do to help you so this is the thing right the flip is the homo sapiens, the flip of the whole movie too is the homo sapiens are actually smarter than modern man. And yet they told us that we are getting smarter as people when in all actuality we're getting dumber. So the homo sapiens, although the modern man has all this technology, gadgets, spacesuits, all type of shit, the actual like aboriginal people are like way smarter like way smarter like like the dude is taking medic because all right so what happens is the dude's ship crash right his ship crashes in the jungle he's kind of bruised up hurt he's looking for help mailing for mayday all that shit kind of late at night he hears stuff creeping through the bushes boom 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 Right, he thinks it's a lion, he thinks it's a tiger, but all the time it's neither or it's actual people creeping through the bushes, right? And um It's actual people creeping through the bushes and then um 
once he flashed like the flashlight, you know, you see some run off, you flash the flashlight, you see some run off again. And right as he turned around, the main chief of the whole thing is like right behind him. And um, he looks super scared. The chief lifts up his hand with like some stuff in his hand. And then pretty much the chief goes like this. Pretty much telling the dude that's hurt, eat this. Whatever, it doesn't matter what's wrong with you. Just eat this and you'll be okay. And the dude is kind of like, no, like what the fuck? So then the chimp, remind you, the people, the aboriginal people, they don't even use words. They just use 99% hand, hand signals. So he goes, and then he points to another person that, uh, like he points to a, another aboriginal dude that has a big ass scar across his chest, but the scar look healed up. But it doesn't look like a surgical heal up, like with stitches, it just looked like a scar that healed up. So he tells a dude like, eat this and look at him like if you eat this what happened to him you'll be fixed right so the dude eats the fucking shit boom and literally his skin just closes up like the wounds he just eat he eats something that they whipped up and the dude's skin closes up like wolverine So, yeah, that's kind of like some of the, the, the shit that's happening in the movie. Now, the epic plot twist in the movie is, mentally, you're going to be saying, yo, the caveman people need to fucking advance and become more technical and get with the modern world. But the flip side of the movie is the modern people are the dumb people and they need to go back to native ways of living. So that's the whole flip side of the movie, like, right? Like the modern, like the modern people, like regular today's society need to go back to jungle living. It's a lot less stressful, a lot healthier, a lot cleaner, better for the earth, all type of things. Right? So, like I said, I'll let y'all know when we got everything up and running. I don't know if we're going to do a Kickstarter or are we going to do a GoFundMe. I'm not quite sure. Uh, um, but we're most definitely going to do it. I'm not going to set it too high. We just want to use this to cover all the flights, all the hotels, all the stay we need. Because like I said, I do want to choose somebody from each part of the world to be a part of this. I do want, I do want someone from them to every sector of the world to be a part of this. Because I want it to have like universal energy inside of the movie. sure I can get enough donations to make this shit happen. You gotta understand, I filmed the whole first movie by myself. Just me and a camera in the middle of the desert all by myself. I was out there for three, four days straight just filming by myself. No help, no nothing. Just me. Me, a camera, and a tripod. That's it. that being said man i just want to throw that in the air real quick i'm gonna keep y'all updated with everything um, i get back to y'all when i got everything up and running i'm most definitely gonna need all y'all support to make this happen um feel like we need more movie like this in the world we need more movies that kind of like paint this reality i know we in the horror movie and the funny movie and, and the conscious movie fam i don't even think this is a conscious movie i think this is just more of a reflective movie i think it's like putting a big mirror in front of the whole world so 
you know and also if people want to support like even if you're not an actor but you like you do camera work you do photography whatever you do like i want everybody that that can offer anything if you're a makeup artist if you're a set designer if you like you good with props you good with special effects you even good with editing whoever can who, whoever like we're gonna need everybody participation to make this shit happen because i want to make this shit as busy big as it possibly can right um, so with that being said, man, I'm gonna get back to y'all in a minute. I got some stuff that I gotta take care of. I love you all. Boo down.